All right, hey guys, today we're taking a look at this flash cartridge. This is actually the cheapest flash cartridge I've ever seen online. Um, as you probably know, the EverDrives go for around 100 bucks. Easy Flash has a nice one for about 40, but this one was under $30, including tax and shipping. I think it's like listed for 25. Um, I'm not gonna put a link in the description, but you can easily just look up GB Flash cartridge on AliExpress or eBay and find this one, many other ones. As far as I'm aware, these are pretty much all the same. Um, but of course, these are flat uh, uh, clones of the EverDrive one, and normally I don't really like promoting clones, especially on like you know my big channels. This is my side channel though, and I figure people are going to be interested in this anyway, and it fulfills a different role. This somebody who's looking at EverDrive is not going to be like, oh well, this one's clearly superior, so I'm going to buy this instead. I feel like this doesn't really compete with the modern EverDrives. Um, so let's just go ahead and load up a game. We got the main menu here, so you can see it's really really basic. They clearly did some work on the basic EverDrive design in order to get this cost down, which is, again, another reason why it's not 100% a clone, but it probably uses some of the basic hardware. Um, so let's just try something simple. Um, you can't even, as you can see, it's really hard to actually see what's highlighted here, which is why it's down there, too. Um, this works on a normal Game Boy. This is a, um, uh, what's it call it? A clone console. Let's just try Tetris really quick. And you press B to start the game. Then you have two options. You have load and start, which basically copies it to the memory, and then just load only. So basically, just like some of the cheaper um, GB, what is it called? Uh, game Boy Advance flash cartridges. This one actually has internal memory, which the game reads from. So it has like a little bit of flash storage or whatever. So what happens is when you load a game off the SD card, um, it actually loads it to the flash memory and then the Game Boy reads from the flash memory. So the Game Boy itself can't read from the SD card, which is why you have to wait for games to load. As you can tell here, this game loaded up pretty fast, and it plays just fine. Um, still feels a little weird, but that's because, you know, original uh, Game Boy Tetris. But the game plays... Oh, jeez, that was a bad drop. The game plays just as well as you expect. But I am really not used to these controls. They feel really weird, and playing around the camera is not great. Um, so what happens is when you turn it off, I think... Uh, it writes the save data to a special part of the SD card because when you turn it back on, it loads. And I haven't tested this myself, but from what I heard, um, if, even if you take out a battery, it won't leave. Uh, it basically won't lose your save file because it's all saved to a special part of the cartridge. Um, let's try out. Oops. Okay. That's weird. Huh. Did I just lose everything? That would be awkward. Okay, let's... Maybe the SD card got bumped or whatever. Anyway, let's try this again. So like I was saying, on some older flash cards, yes, if that little battery in there um, died, then you'd lose whatever save file was currently being stored. Because it doesn't directly, like I said, it doesn't directly save to the .sav file. But as far as I can tell here, that's not going to be a problem. So let's try Pokemon Trading Card Game. As you can see here, we're looking for the .gb. Um, I'm not sure if there's an option to show only ROMs. Um... Save RAM. Okay, so I think if we say save RAM, yes, then that means it will save it to the um, to the battery back to RAM portion, but we don't want that. So I think we can leave all these alone. Um, oops. How do I get out of here? Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. A is back. Okay. So, okay, let's probably try Pokemon Trading Card Game. Press B. Load and start. And this one will take a little bit longer because it's a little bit bigger of a game. So it has to erase the flash storage. I think it's I think it's flash. I haven't checked. And then we'll write the new flash storage. And then it should boot up the game. So um, I've tested a bunch of games. Most of them work. But again, this is a third-party flash cartridge. So the compatibility is not going to be as good as the EverDrive. But I feel like most of the common games people want to play will work on this thing. Um, but one really interesting thing I'm going to test, which is not part of this... Um, flash cartridge at all is save states. You may be like, you can't use save states on real hardware. Well, there's actually some patches that people are working on that actually give you save states on actual real hardware. Like if you had a flash cartridge, like this flash cartridge, probably might not work as well on, but it definitely works on, you know, like the uh, EverDrive, Easy Flash, stuff like that. So we'll try that out on the second. As you can see, I don't have a save file here. We can just put whatever we want. And yes, this all this works on a real Game Boy as well, but this is a little bit easier to record because, you know, it has a backlit screen. And I haven't got around to um, actually 
modding this yet. So I will mod that eventually. You have a backlit screen. All right, so one last thing we're going to show is save states, and then we'll let you guys go. But so far, I've been pretty happy with this thing. Again, if you have the money to buy a better quality flash card, if you don't mind spending 50 bucks, get the easy flash. If you don't mind spending 100 then get the EverDrive. It's significantly better, and it gets updates. Do not try to update this thing. Yes, it's an original EverDrive clone, but it has custom hardware in there to you know make it cheaper and stuff. So if you update this, it will brick. Don't try it. So the last thing we're going to try is save states. I've already tested this with Mario, and it worked out pretty well. But let's try a Game Boy Advance game. We're going to try Shantae. So this will be loading a bigger game, because Shantae is Game Boy Color. And we're going to be trying out save states. So we press B, load and start. All right. Back up save RAM. Hmm. As you see here, um, we have to erase the storage. I'm guessing erasing the other game takes longer too. So let's. Ah, we haven't even started copying it yet. Okay, here we go. Now we're writing. And as you can see, it takes a while longer. Another reason to buy the actual EverDrive. I don't think any normal person is going to be like, hmm. Should I get the EverDrive I can afford, or should I spend like, you know, one fourth the price for a worse experience? It's like, no, no, no. This is for two, way too, two entirely different customers. Um, so, yeah, there's quite a bit of downtime in between games. Uh, but I'm going to keep it going live just so you can get a general feel of how this will go. And I don't even know if Shantae is the biggest game on the Game Boy. Okay, here we go. So it says GB Boy instead of Game Boy. Start this up. I believe Start Plus Up is the save state. Oh, also, oh yeah, I'll also link in the description the save state patches. They don't cover every game. There's way more Game Boy ones than Game Boy Advance since I guess it's easier. But let's try it out. So here's the beginning cutscene. So I press start and down. Oh, and as you can see here, it has glitched out the game. So yeah, no, these patches will not work on everything. Um, as you can see here, Game Boy Color is a little bit more spotty. It could be the flash card just doesn't have enough, I guess, RAM or whatever to hold this. But I will show you that it actually does work. So let's try, um, Mario B. Alright, so now we're going to try out Mario. Let's go ahead and load and start. There we go. Now it rebooted. Okay. So let's start a level. Okay, right. so down and start. Now if we move forwards, jump around a bit. Okay, now we want to go back, starting up, and there we go. Save states are actually working, so it's pretty cool. Um, one other thing I want to test is if save states work when you turn off the system. So let's turn this completely off. Turn it on. All right. Now let's press start and up. And as you see here, the save state worked, but there's a bit of a glitch going on. That is extra notes aren't supposed to be in there. I don't know if you can hear them. But it once the world's reloaded, it should be fine. So if we can die... Our save still loaded, and we're back to normal. So yeah, uh, save states aren't perfect, but it's interesting. I'm glad this flash card actually supports them, even if not natively. So yeah, um, this flash card's pretty cool. It's literally the cheapest option you can get by a pretty large margin. I think the like I said, I think the lowest next lowest, aside from all the ones that are the same, is uh, the Easy Flash. But I still think this is pretty cool. Now, again, like I said, there are a bunch of different flashcards on AliExpress. I'm pretty sure they're pretty much all the same. Some have a little button that takes you back to the menu. I chose to not go with that because I feel like I'm going to bump into it. But as long as you get one of the, like, you know, just more recent, just look at the reviews. If you look at the reviews and the reviews look good, I'd say, you know what? Give it a shot. There's some on eBay too, but you'll obviously charge a markup. But I've had a pretty decent experience ordering from AliExpress. I just use PayPal checkout, so if anything goes wrong, I can just contact them. But yeah. So, 
Would I recommend this? I'd say for those of you who just, you know, want to play Game Boy games occasionally, don't want to spend, and because of that, you don't want to spend a lot of money. Let's just say you need something to pick up and play your collection, and you don't want to carry all those now getting pretty expensive games like Pokemon and stuff with you, then this is a pretty cool option. Um, now, if you're trying to play Pokemon Gen 2, you will have to download patches because obviously, you know, Pokemon Gen 2 has that real-time clock, and this has no real-time clock. Um, so as you can see here, I have Pokemon Crystal. So if I load this, um, I have patched this with the real-time clock support, so that means that it will ask, it'll let me set my clock at any time. So the idea is, every time I boot it up, I have to manually set the clock, but then the clock events will happen as is. And I can just, and then next time I want to play it again, I just boot it up and set the clock again. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little look. Well, not quick, it's 12 minutes, but this is a nice little look at the, um, uh, what is it called? The Game Color GB. Basically, the cheapest flash card on AliExpress, um, and it works. It actually functions. So, yeah, I'd say, yeah, again, if you can buy a better flash card, get a better flash card. This will never get updates. If you find a game that doesn't work, it will never work. But I say most games work, so give it a shot. If this is what you're in the market for, specifically a low budget, a low cost flash card that still plays most of your games, then this will do it. So yeah, um, again. I'm not going to have links in the description. I think you can look up, like, uh, 101 game cartridge or anything like that. They come preloaded with games. I know if you don't really care for. Um, but, yeah, if you just find any flash card on AliExpress, I'm pretty sure they're pretty much all the same with minor features like the button or whatever, which I don't like. So, yeah, any one of them should be fine. Again, check the reviews before you order. Order with protection, uh, PayPal or whatever. And, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, thanks for watching this video. Uh, see you later.